Rogan, you say, if it's a cat, if, if, if it's a cat, then I will say, I will say, hi. We realized that Rogan was deaf at 18 months. He wasn't talking. The biggest challenges we had with Rogan were communication. Rogan being frustrated. He would try to say something and then we wouldn't understand him and then we started doing sign language. When the sign language started, that helped a lot. However, he wanted to talk and I was really worried about what school we were gonna get him into and where we were gonna get help. My great-grandfather founded Central Institute for the Deaf. He graduated from Missouri Medical College in 1893, and then shortly thereafter traveled to Vienna to study with Dr. Pulitzer. When he came back to St. Louis, he felt frustrated with the lack of attention that was being paid to the deaf children and felt that he could do more. He went to family and friends and got financial support to be able to start the school. He started it in the second floor of his office building where he had his medical practice, and it just grew from there. Dr. Goldstein's vision was to combine science and education, and that's what we do here at CID today. We have seen improvements in hearing aids and in cochlear implants. It's that incredible technology that's now available combined with teachers who all have their master's degrees in deaf education, a team of audiologists, speech language pathologists, occupational therapists. The hearing devices that our children have are incredible, but wearing the devices is just the beginning. They need to be explicitly taught language, vocabulary, everything. They need to be trained to learn to listen and to make sense of the sounds that they have. We have basically three departments. Our early intervention department, which serves children and their families birth to age three. There are about 80 to 100 families being served at any one time. In our pre-K kindergarten department, we have currently 32 students. Our primary department has currently 17 children, and those children are between the ages of 7 and 12. It's a team effort of professionals who come together to serve the children who are in our school to teach them to listen, talk, read, and succeed, and to work with professionals around the world and to give them the tools that they need to be successful with the children in their community. Can you find a picture that has all of those things? How many houses? Two. How many trees? Three. Yep, and how many dogs? Two. <gasps> Can you find a picture like that? It's all about the kids, and they don't turn anyone away because of financial issues. The money we're trying to raise, a lot of it will go to scholarships. And I can't think of a more worthwhile thing to take a person with a handicap, basically yeah. take that handicap away and make them a productive citizen. Sure. One of the challenges in our field is that deafness is a low incidence disability, and so a lot of doctors and other professionals aren't well versed on what all the options are for their children. And so a lot of times families don't know about us or don't know anyone else with a child who's deaf and hard of hearing. So I think one of our challenges and opportunities is to get out there in the world and to make more people aware. Hi, I first found out that Celia had a hearing loss when she was a day old. For 18 months, I had been trying to figure out what was going on with her because I was not getting any answers from the hospital. I found CID on my own, and as soon as we came in for that very first meeting, we felt at home. Everybody here is so welcoming and so good at their jobs that you can just feel it when you walk in, and I felt that that first day. CID has always had children from around the United States and around the world families that pick up and move everything to be here. Whether it's an entire family or part of a family, they make great sacrifices to be here. The whole idea of CID is to mainstream the deaf and hard of hearing kids so they can have a complete and full life. And I think that speaks to everybody as far as making sure people are plugged in and part of their community rather than separated from it. CID in many ways prepare me professionally 
in that it instilled hard work and the motivation to succeed and to be able to achieve anything. What letter did you have? T. T. What sound does T make? <laughs> Awesome job. All right, Daniel's turn. The bottom line is that they're getting to play and to be kids, and that's what makes CID different. You walk into a classroom and you don't see a teacher sitting across the table from the child, but that teacher is on the floor, meeting him at his level, engaging in play. And that's how we connect with our children. Being a part of CID is a very uplifting experience. You can walk into this building and you feel the spirit of it immediately. You will not leave here without feeling it and you will want to come back. She loves it here. I love it here. I will be so proud to be the parent of a future CID graduate and it's all because of all those people who have helped. The thing that's been very striking about CID is that there's not a static, we've always done it this way and we're going to continue to do it that way. There's always new things on the horizon and trying what works best and trying to anticipate what are those changes that will be in the future. I think the key to the future is staying on the forefront of everything that we already do. Always looking, always searching, always asking questions about how to move forward in whatever comes our way. When technology and education come together, they work miracles. It takes both to make a student be able to listen, read, and speak. We will weave in the sanctity of childhood and gather by right the play in spontaneous self-initiated activity in the development of the individual to the limit of his ability in restoring him into society that we lie in. Self-respecting. Self-supporting. We believe in modern scientific methods in the cooperation of the physician, teachers and parents, and an orchestration. The child first. 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 The child first. His vision that launched CID and set out a credo for our organization that has really become the founding principle, as true today as it was 100 years ago.